Hello. Now, with like anything in this world, bad information can spread quite easily. Balanced journalism that CBS4 News produces. But we are concerned about trouble and trying to be responsible. One side of news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. So I decided I would test that theory and see with YouTube Shorts whether I can get more views with bad information. And well, the results are quite interesting. Now the content of this short was not only political, but also based on the Canada. Now I'm from the UK um, and I'm aiming for a Canadian audience. Why? Well, because there was a new law that just recently passed called C11. Now I'm not gonna show you the shorts, but if you wanna go check them out, they're on my YouTube channel. But both of these shorts were about this new law called C11, which either the way you looked at it, restricted the use of YouTube and TikTok, or allowed them to promote local artists. Now, both of these shorts took a different stance on it, one swaying towards the fact that government were controlling these platforms, which arguably people will hate, because most people hate the government. And the other one was prioritizing the fact that the government did something good for local artists, since it gave them more exposure on the platform over basically international artists. Now, both these shorts were posted at the exact same time, both with similar editing styles, and the fact that they were both of similar length as well, basically guaranteed that this was a fair shot at both of them going viral or getting a decent amount of views. Now, although both of these shorts didn't go mega viral and didn't go anywhere near what my shorts normally do, we can see a huge disproportionate amount of views for the one that is bad. And I think it sums it up, and we're gonna go into the results in the next section right now. So to sum up these shorts, both had basically the same title. Both of them had no tags whatsoever. The description was literally just a link to the article where I got the information off. So basically the SEO score from these shorts was both abysmal. So they had a fair shot of getting some views on both of them. Now let's start off with the one that had the good sided argument for it. The one that supported Canadian politicians. Now this short got 18 views, no likes, no comments, no subscribers whatsoever. And I think you can pretty much sum that up to being the short was not amazing and people don't really care about positive impacts in a country like Canada, unless you are from Canada, which my demographic on that short was obviously not Canada. Now the short that was positioned to be bad or in essence, the worst of the two, not really because of editing or anything like that, but because of the viewpoint it took, did actually a lot better. It got 134 views, two comments and five likes, which is not amazing, but that is a proportionate increase. And that proportion of difference is 644% in views. Now, if you made that into slightly increased numbers, so let's say a thousand or whatever, then that is a huge amount of views that is coming from basically bad information that positioned to be negative in a way. So if you care about getting views on YouTube or basically any social media, to sum it up, basically use good information but position it in a bad way to get people's attentions straight off the bat. And obviously shorts, and they both have the position to go viral later on or get more views. This is only about a week and a half after me uploading them. So they could go and get more views. The other one could take over the other one. Who knows? We'll see what happens. 